Here's the field for the uh, sixth race tonight. Sixth race. These are Phillies and Mares claiming handicap pacers racing one mile. Field of eight, there are no changes. Number one is side court. Owned by Tom Lovely and Susan McKinney of Ohio. Tom Lovely trains and drives. The two Winsome Zagirat. Owned by Don Bullen Jr. of Marengo. Don Bullen, the second trains for Charlie Smith Jr. Three boardwalk jogger. Owned by Shingle Decker of El Dorado and Revelio of Huber Heights. Randy Owens, the uh, trainer, Don Irvine Jr. The four B Boppin, owned by Jim Underwood of Grove City. Fred Winston Jr., the uh, trainer with Randy Tharps. Number five, Little Loeb. Owned by Steve Pianiagiopoulos of Columbus. Chuck Grubbs, the trainer for Brad Hanners. Number six, Buena Park, owned by Keith Noble of Dublin. Rocky Stidham is the trainer, Dave Miller. Up. Number seven, San Myrug, owned by Bill Sanders of Atlanta, Georgia. Ty Lloyd trains and uh, drives. And number eight, Layson Jade, owned by Clarence DeLong of Grove City. Lloyd Hawk, the trainer, Dave Hawk, is in the Sonki. One play show perfecta trifecta wagering. This is also the third line of the pick three, the trophy by the VFW Department 11. Commander Craig Swartz. Sixth race, spacing fillies and mares are all in behind the gate. They swing to the back stretch, and there they go. And uh, they're off, and Lace and Jade from the far outside is first for the lead, but from between horses comes a little lobe. Far outside and racing a three, Buena Park. From off the rail, racing a fourth, it's side court. Looking to angle in five comes B Bump, and at the rail in sixth, it's Winsome's Garrett. At the rail in seventh, Boardwalk Jogger, the early trail of eight, San Myrug. They're on the first turn, Lace and Jade again in control here, has a lead of length. On the inside, racing a second, it's Little Lobe. They reach the first quarter mile marker, 27 and 3. And Miller is on the move with Bonaparte as she comes to the outside. And Bonaparte surging to the front, takes the lead from Lace and Jade. At the rail, Little Lobe is a patient third. Then there's a gap of three lengths, fourth to side court. Another two lengths to be Bompin, who's racing fifth. At the rail and sixth, Winsome's Garrett next to line. Boardwalk Jogger, the trailer San Myrug. The Phillies and Mirrors are now in straight alignment here. As they approach the halfway point, half and 50, six and two. A lively pace here. And on the front, Bonaparte now, the leader by a length and a half. On the inside, Lace and Jade is racing a second, and Little Lobe is their third. And now the action comes from the back end. Here comes B. Boppin and Tharps is on the move. And right there, Winsome's Garrett is drafting along with cover fifth. At the red on sixth is side court, San Myrug, and now the trailer is Boardwalk Jogger. The field tightens up a bit here as they race into the final turn. Bonaparte leading still a length and a half. On the outside, racing a second and pressuring is B. Bop in the three quarters, 126 and four. Lace and Jade is at the rail and waiting for racing room. Winsome's Garrett poised to strike three wide to the outside. And Little Loeb desperately locked in here, racing a sixth. Turning for home now, last Saturday, eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Bonaparte with the lead. Lace and Jade down to the inside. Be bumping on the outside as they drive in the deep stretch. Lace and Jade sprinting clear here. Lace and Jade getting up to win it. Second little lobe. Third, Bonaparte at 156-3. Trackside is the winner of the uh, sixth race, number eight, Lace and Jade, a four-year-old, a daughter of the New York Stallion Frugal Gourmet from the safer rival mare, Madame Mystique. Oh, by Clarence DeLong of Grove City, Ohio, Lloyd Hawk, the trainer Dave Hawk in the bike. Her ninth win of the season, second consecutive here at the Site of Downs, and that is a career mark for her, 156 and a three. The uh, sixth race, Perfecta, $8,538.80, 38 dollars 80